Good morning and welcome to WDEF News 12 this morning. It's time for Fit Friday. We're going to get you in shape this morning. Michael McMillan is joining us from Jack Silverman's Fitness Center. Some great exercises for your abs and of course I really need this and a lot of us ladies do. And we're going to do it today with the BOSU ball. So tell me about this. Okay, basically the BOSU ball is uh, like a Swiss ball but cut in half. Okay, okay. the goal it stands for both sides up, BOSU, B-O-S-U. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll use the soft side first. Just going to have a seat on the front All edge right. of the BOSU. Okay. Okay, what we're doing is basically creating instability to All then right. make you more stable and engage you more muscles. We'll All go ahead right. and lie back there. All right. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll put our hands behind our head like a normal crunch, okay? Okay. Staying parallel with the floor, and we'll just crunch up and then back down to parallel with the floor, right about that angle. Exhale as you're pulling. Okay. We'll inhale as we come down, just like a normal crunch would be. Three, good. But it is a little bit harder. Four, yes, much more difficult. Kind of similar to that bender ball people see on TV a lot. Right. Same kind of concept. Okay, we'll do 12 to 16 of those and go ahead and relax. But it seems like it might be easier for your back if you have back yes, issues. Much this more is not going to be as hard. Yes, okay. Very good. Okay, All now right. we'll come back and we'll up twist left. Okay, doing the obliques. Up and twist left one. Okay. Inhale down. Exhale as you go up. And then we'll come back down again. Couple and how more many reps are we doing on these if we were at home? At home, we're going to do 12 to 16. And once again, once you feel that burn start up, we'll want to go about four to five into that, okay? Okay. Yeah. And one more time. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll slide up on the booster a little bit. All right. Okay, hands are going behind you on the floor. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a reverse crunch now. We'll pull our knees to our chest. Okay. Exhale as you pull. Inhale as you reach. And exhale. Good. Inhale. Very good. And pulling. Okay. And if you straighten the legs, it'll increase the difficulty, but it could also increase the pressure in your lower back, which okay. we do not want. Okay. We'll so do you want to kind of keep it? Keep it nice and slow. Good All right. consistent movement. Okay. Now, 12 to 16 of those also. Okay. okay. Now, we'll bring both knees to the left shoulder. Correct. And then back out flat. And this is working okay. what? This is more of the obliques, okay, which okay. is what pulls the waistline in and kind of gives you the hourglass shape. Which we definitely want. <laughs> definitely. Okay, and we'll do 12 to 16 of those. Good All job. Right. Okay, and relax. Good All right. Oh, good. Well, that's easy to do, and of course, it's very effective. <laughs> want to thank you for joining us thank today. You. Put the information on the screen for you now. You can join Jack Silverman's Fitness Center. I do all of these exercises right there. All you have to do is give them a call. JackSilvermanFitness.com as well. Thanks for joining us, Michael. Appreciate it. Thank we'll you. see you next week. Stay with us. We'll take a short break, and we'll be right back.